Hey, good Tuesday morning, my friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torgrosa. Yeah, I can't quit with the tropical shirts. Don't need to either. Maybe not exactly tropical, but we're looking at uh, 75 to 80 degrees. You know, you want something easy right to get go, 75 to 80 degrees today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, most places in lower Michigan. And then, you know, here's my tease for you today. Tropical shirt to where the heck is my coat? Weather coming up by, yeah, by this time next week. So let's get to it. And first thing, I got to apologize. I am a geeky meteorologist, so I need all kinds of lines on a map. But you need them too um, because I want to sort some things out for you. First off, where's the rain? We'll look at that. The model run here shows the greens and the oranges and the reds as the amount of rain that you could get. Oh, first I got to say hi to some people. How about Maryland Green Ann Arbor? Hi. How about Jennifer Beck Southworth? Hi. And Bill Hobart from Sterling Heights. Good morning to you. Pamela Jones from Bridgeport, Michigan. Good morning to you. Okay, so rain areas. Then you have the high pressure systems and low pressure systems. That's the black squiggly lines, the pressure lines. Not really a big deal to you. But then you have the red lines and the blue lines, and those are temperatures aloft. And we'll see those change as we go toward the end of this model run. So here it is. We go through today, nothing doing weather wise except hazy, smoky sunshine and not much wind. Let's go into tomorrow, nothing doing weather wise except hazy, smoky uh, sunshine. Now, Thursday afternoon, there could be some showers coming across the UP, but all anticipations are right now, everything I'm seeing wants to dry that up by Friday morning and not bring it into lower Michigan, maybe just some remnant clouds for a while. So this is sunrise Friday morning and nothing going on. And then this is Saturday morning, we're into a southwesterly wind ahead of a cold front. So Saturday, that kind of position typically would be your warmest day ahead of the cold front. Now, hey, good morning, Brian Stearns um, and Ann Siegel. Now, this is Saturday evening. So showers, maybe thunderstorms already into northwest lower. Uh, Saturday overnight and sunrise Sunday meaning the cold front will move pretty quickly. That's another sign of fall. You know, as we as we have fall just fight with summer a couple of weeks ago, cold fronts mm, have a tough time coming through. As we get into the center of fall or more fallish type air and the cold air has a little more strength, it comes through in 12 hours or so. And then as we get to deep fall, those cold fronts will often come through Michigan in about six hours. Uh, what's the weekend look like in Bay City, Rose? Uh, Saturday looks warm and summery and breezy. Sunday looks like a wind shift and turning cooler through the day after showers at night. So then we go into Monday and another little burst of some showers. And then all along, this model has been showing something from Sunday into Tuesday trying to form over the Great Lakes, and sometimes it can overdo it, and it probably does, but then look at the surge of, hey, where's my coat weather behind it, and that would be settling in in the middle of next week. Uh, again, this is the end of the model run, 10 days out, 240 hours out. Incredible, first off, you got to admit, incredible that uh, a, a computer model with so many variables as weather, can even come close at 10 days out. I was arguing with somebody the other day. Uh, they had something. I said, you should be able to predict that. I can't remember exactly what it was. I said, man, you should be able to predict that. And they said, you know, there's so many variables. There's 10, 15, 20 variables. I said, you're talking to a meteorologist. I'm not buying that. You know how many variables they have into these models? Hundreds. Literally, you know, I don't know if it's 200 to make it hundreds, but it's a lot of variables. Sorry, 
Got on my soapbox. So long story short is dry weather until about Saturday night or Sunday morning. Temperatures basically should call it 75 to 80 degrees. This is today, mid to upper 70s. This is tomorrow. If you have a chance at 80, it's in the Saginaw Valley. Uh, the next day, 75 to 80, a little cooler maybe, northern lower. Uh, then back to 75 to 80. Then we're at uh, Saturday. 75 to 80 is the official National Weather Service forecast. But like I said, uh, hey, Laura Garcia from Saginaw. Um, like I said, Saturday could be warmer than that. I could see it being 82 to 85 on a southwesterly wind ahead of uh, a cold front if if uh, showers don't develop. And then Sunday, of course, the cold front is through. We start to cool off. And then here's Monday. And I'll pick it up with the model that we like, unfortunately, the European. You know, just to give you a look into next week, uh, let's go to um, let's go to Wednesday as it showed the colder air coming in. So there's your highs Wednesday in the around 60, upper 50s in the south, uh, 50s in the north. And then we get into Thursday's high temperatures, and we're talking maybe only some upper 40s in the north. So certainly next week we'll continue the acceleration of the leaf color change, which kind of started here in the last week with the colder temperatures. And now I've noticed kind of accelerating. The heat will slow that down a touch, but then next week it will pick right back up. Whew, there you go. Simple forecast. Get the tropical shirts out through Saturday and then Sunday, the transition day, and then probably the where the heck is my coat type weather for next week. Um, oh, sorry, I guess I disappeared there. Hey, good morning, Jeanette Kimberly from Sparta and Gwen Hicks error loading. Okay, um, didn't see that. Good, for, good morning from Stonington on the ocean, 45 degrees. Number of variables is not a predictor of model fit. It's the quality. Okay, we got a doctoral level statistician here. Uh-oh, I got to watch myself. I wish I could remember what I was who I was talking to and what concept that I said we should be able to model that. And they said, no, there's just too many variables. I said, oh, bull. Um, Oh, well, I'll think of it. Maybe if I think of it, I'll, I'll talk about it tomorrow. All right, so there you have it. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. And I appreciate you uh, viewing. And, of course, as always, make sure you hit the share button. William Milam, St. Ignace this weekend. Hey, we can go back for you. That's the things that we do here at M Live because we can. It's not like a TV station. I've been on TV for 30 years. It was a great time. It's a good medium. I have a lot of friends in TV, but the fortunate thing about this is that we don't have to um, worry about commercials and time, time periods. To, okay, I got to wrap because we've got to get to sports and all that stuff. So let's get back to uh, William's. Uh, weekend in St. Ignace, okay? That's Saturday afternoon right there. Uh, the cold front coming across the UP, if it stays on timing, and bear in mind, that's pretty far out, but this model is real good at these kind of things, so, you know, it might change six hours, which can change materially how Saturday is. That's Saturday afternoon and evening you're seeing right there, and then Sunday the cold front is through, but when you get in the cooler temperatures in St. Ignis, you can get some spurts of showers. So you are looking, I would say, at kind of a sh better plan on a showery type thing. And let's go to the temperatures for you. St. Ignis, about 70-ish on Saturday and about uh, 65 on Sunday. And that sounds a little bit on the warm side. All right. We're going to wrap it up here. Thank you for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Hit the share button, please.